Hello, my name is Ken Bexted of Cigarette Pollution Solutions. Hi, and my name is Janelle Capsey, and I'm the owner of Cigarette Butt Services. We hate cigarette litter, so what we've started is a cigarette litter program to actually collect cigarette waste, keep it out of our waste stream, keep it out of the environment, and recycle it. Did you know that 34% of all litter that's collected throughout the world is cigarette litter? And guess what? It just sits in a landfill and does nobody any good. So we've come up with a program that offers receptacles, a reporting, and a recycling program to combat the number one littered item in the world. What we're here to do is we're here to partner with communities, businesses, and larger corporations that want to implement a cigarette litter program, as well as increase their sustainability program to remove the cigarette litter, in which we can actually convert into energy and or plastic. If you look around when you're driving, you'll see cigarette butts all over the place. These cigarette butts enter our storm drain systems. In the Las Vegas Valley, all the storm drains lead to Lake Mead. That becomes the drinking water for three states, California, Arizona, and Nevada. So protecting this watershed from pollution actually protects the drinking water for literally millions of people. What's great about this is that you have two options that the servicing program can provide to your business. You can either purchase the receptacles and where the litter can be collected, or if you have existing receptacles, our servicing company can come and empty them, which in then will provide detailed reporting on how many cigarette filters that you've collected on a weekly and or monthly basis. Now these reports are really useful when reporting to state water boards and the EPA, your pollution prevention efforts and results. You can run a street sweeper eight hours a day, you're going to get a bill for diesel, you're going to get a bill for the guy driving. You're not going to know how much trash you pick up. We monitor it month to month. You can track your cigarette litter loads. If you have a smoking cessation program you're implementing on your property, you can actually see if people are actually cutting down on smoking. That's very true. Ken, if you can please explain to everybody, why is it so important to have cigarette, cigarette letter removed from our environment? Well, actually, there's a lot of impacts on our environment that people don't actually realize. Birds nest with cigarette litter. Every nesting season, birds will actually pay, pick up cigarette litters, take the wrappers off, and line their nests. Then you have babies being hatched, basically with no feathers, on a life-size nicotine patch. This is not good. Then you have other impacts. Like, people pick up cigarette litter off the street and smoke it. What if the per first person had a disease? Now you're passing diseases on. The homeless people, they can't afford cigarette litter, so they're be smoking other people's cigarettes. Where do the health care costs go? To the taxpayer. So keeping cigarette litter locked up out of the reach of underage smokers, out of the reach of uh, homeless people, and actually out of the reach of the animals affects us all and actually will benefit our environment and our community. So besides the impact that you can have on the environment, another thing that we can offer while collecting the cigarette litter is we can actually convert it into plastic. Ken, if you can also share with what we do with the cigarette filters and how we can actually convert them into plastic, what can we do with it? Well, that's a good question, Janelle. Um, cigarette litter is actually, first of all, it's cellulose acetate. It's actually one of the oldest plastics known to man. We actually decontaminate the cellulose acetate pelletize it and basically put it back on the market as a post-consumer material available from a wide range of products from insulation to auto parts to actually other environmental products. That's great. That's really, really great. Well, one thing that I'd like to do is ask Ken, as well as yourself, how you can become involved and how can you contact both Ken and I to implement the cigarette litter program into your business. Ken, if you could share that, that would be great. What we do is we will actually come out and assess your cigarette litter problem. We will actually find transition points, say like bus stops or places where people are getting on a train, etc., changing from one mode of transportation to another, or people actually sitting at a rest area, or a dog park, for instance. We've had a great response from Las Vegas City Parks at the dog parks. People sit there and watch their dogs and have a smoke and relax, and we've actually gained a lot of cigarette litter just from the dog parks in the city of Las Vegas. That's great. Another place or another business that we're really seeking to get a good partnership is, since we're in Las Vegas, I feel that the casinos would be a great, great business to implement this program. Is that correct? The casinos is almost a no-brainer. They already have their own casino people emptying ashtrays and collecting it. Instead of putting it in a 40-yard dumpster on the loading dock, we provide a 55-gallon metal covered drum labeled for cigarette waste only. So the hotel workers can keep all the cigarette litter separate 
And then basically, whenever that drum is full, you give us a call or an email. We'll be there within 24 hours to exchange the drum. We weigh the drum and give you a statement at the end of each month saying how many pounds of cigarette litter you prevented from going into the environment and prevented from just being buried in a landfill. One thing that I really, really want to focus on and emphasize here is that we have a very simple solution to a very complex problem within this world. And one thing I do want to touch base on, Ken, if you can explain the implications of cigarette litter that actually goes into the storm drains, and where do those storm drains lead to? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the storm drains in this Las Vegas Valley all lead to Lake Mead. And basically, anything west of the Rocky Mountains here ends up going to the ocean. But before it goes to the ocean, it goes through our drinking water supply. So having all these chemical constituents that are in cigarette litter go into our drinking water supply, which is very expensive to treat. Las Vegas last year spent over $20 million just treating the drinking water supply. So the more prevention we can do is the better for all of us. And the thing is, there's habitats between the storm drains and Lake Mead, which are sensitive, which birds need for rearing their young for eating and sustaining life. Protecting these sensitive habitats on the way to Lake Mead is very imperative for the health of all the, all the life in this valley, including us. That's great. Well, for you to become more involved, please check out my website for cigarettebuttservices.com. And my website is buttsonlybox.com. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Please, we would love for you to get involved and become an advocate to actually collect the number one littered item in the world, which is cigarette filters. And don't be a butthead.